Good morning. Welcome to Winter Garden Sacred Space Meditation Service. Um, during this time, we will listen to scripture, spend time in silence and meditating on God's word for us to stay. And then a time in prayer, followed by more music. I pray that God is able to use this time as you need it. And also as we glorify God in this time of worship. Our scripture lesson is from Isaiah 42, verses one through nine. Take a good look at my servant. I'm backing him to the hilt. He's the one I chose and I couldn't be more pleased with him. I bathed him with my spirit, with my life. He'll set everything right among the nations. He won't call attention to what he does with loud speeches or gaudy parades. He won't brush aside the bruised and the hurt and he won't disregard the small and the insignificant but he'll steadily and firmly set things right. He won't tire out and quit. He won't be stopped until he's finished his work to set things right on earth. Far-flung ocean islands wait expectantly for his teaching. God's message, the God who created the cosmos stretched out the skies, laid out the earth and all that grows from it, who breathes life into earth's people, makes them alive with his own life. I am God. I have called you to live right and well. I have taken responsibility for you, kept you safe. I have sent you among my people to bind them to me and provided you as a lighthouse to the nations to make a start at bringing people into the open, into light opening blind eyes, releasing prisoners from dungeons, emptying the dark prisons. I am God, that's my name. Don't franchise my glory, don't endorse the no God idols. Take note, the earlier predictions of judgment have been fulfilled. I'm announcing the new salvation work. Before it bursts on the scene, I'm telling you all about it. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. And that was a reading from Isaiah 42, verses 1 through 9, and I was reading from the message. Let us go into a time of meditation on God's word this day.
Let us pray. God, on this day when we celebrate Epiphany, where we welcome those who were seeking, and they were seeking you. You who are the shepherd of Israel and the light of all nations. You who were made known in the gifts of those who call to other names and walk on different ways. May unjust powers and the hatred within us be dismayed by your friendship and dethroned by your love. Through Jesus Christ, the open arms of grace we pray. Amen. Thank you. 
So we've had a few technical difficulties with the internet going in and out and sound today. So thank you for staying with us through that. The end of Isaiah 42 says these words. Take note, the earlier predictions of judgment have been fulfilled. I'm announcing the new salvation work. Before it bursts on the scene, I'm telling you all about it. Friends, on this day, as we begin this new year, I feel that God is up to something. God always is. And that God is getting ready to tell us all about it if we take the time to listen and to reflect and spend time with god and so i pray that we find time each day to sit and reflect and be present with god 
and see this new thing that God is doing in our midst. Friends, go in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the creator, redeemer, and sustainer of us all, and be at peace. Amen. Thank you.